student responsibilities here at the Vancouver location are in our store called Price Pro. It's a, a facility that has a furniture section, it also has a grocery section, produce, bakery, meat shop, uh, everything you can kind of picture Costco to be. At the John Vulcan Academy here in Seattle, Washington, the students run and operate a store called Price Co. Price Co is a wholesale furniture store and the students run and operate the warehouse, the sales floor, the management of the store, the paperwork, the monies that, are, that come in, also the marketing and delivery truck driving. Here at the John Vulcan Academy at Welcome Home Ranch, we have many different responsibilities for our students. These include boarding horses, landscaping, working in the garden, operating the feed store, construction jobs, livestock, and also students who work in the kitchen cooking us our meals. The John Vulcan Academy is a two-year program and not only are we achieving sobriety but we're also learning how to deal with uh, the challenges and stresses of life that, have, that has caused us to use in the first place. Our students are learning how to overcome their addiction by coming to work every day, having that consistency of a healthy lifestyle, learning how to cooperate with others, deal with customers, the emotions that go through that everyday living that people go through when they come to work. Working here in the bakery, it's helped me to overcome my addiction by having a constant schedule. Getting up early in the morning was something I always had a problem with. Working eight hours a day, something that I wasn't used to. It provides me with a solid structure and a good foundation to start on when I graduate. Here we learn a great worth ethic. We learn how to do real life jobs. We've got the store, the warehouse, maintenance crews, and we also get a concept with each other. That's something we don't do at any other facility that I've been to before. It's a brotherhood here, it's a family. I haven't felt like a part of a family at any other facility I've been to. I used to think I was dumb. I struggled to even get C's and a lot of my grades were in the D averages. But here, I've put in some work and I've maintained a grade point average above a 3.5. I mean, we follow the therapeutic model for addiction recovery. One way we do that is we follow the model of each one teach one, where everyone holds each other accountable and some of the older guys in the program teach the younger guys how to fulfill some of their responsibilities. This program makes you change behaviors that are characteristic of addiction. They make you change all of the behaviors that make you feel bad about yourself, that keep you in a negative mind space. And this program makes you see the positive in life. The John Vulcan Academy is entirely different than anything I've ever been to before. Um, here we are able to hold each other accountable. Here you're not gonna get away with anything. It makes you responsible for your behaviors. It, it's brought me to a knowledge that um, I can't blame my past for my behaviors anymore. I can't blame my drug use for my behaviors anymore. So pretty early on in the program, I was thrown into leadership. I had the opportunities to hold people accountable and um, tell them when they were falling short, push them to do better. I think leadership was a good thing for me because I was able to learn to be happy and okay with myself in uncomfortable and hard situations. Recently, John Vulcan received the Dalai Lama Humanitarian Award. The award was presented to John on behalf of his work with the John Vulcan Foundation and its efforts to change lives, specifically associated with addiction recovery. So I've been here for 14 months, and I think the thing that I've changed the most about myself is probably my perspective on life, as well as just realizing the positive opportunities in each situation. I'm so grateful for those who have helped me on the path to get my life back on track. I appreciate all the time and effort that's gone into it, and I genuinely just want to say thank you. I couldn't have done this by myself.